Hey guys, it's Dave from TheUnlocker.com and today I'm gonna to show you how you can get your LG G5 totally unrooted and back to stock. Okay, first you're gonna need a Windows computer to do this as the flashing tool is a Windows program. Now this will also completely erase your G5, so make sure to back up anything that you need to keep. If you don't already have it from the rooting tutorial, you're gonna to need to download the LG Up flashing tool, the LG drivers, and the LG DLL for your device from here. You can click the link below to get to that. Make sure to download the right DLL for your device in particular. After that, we're going to double click each one of them and install each one of them onto our computer. Again, if you haven't already done this for your rooting tutorial. After that, you can head to this forum post on XDA where somebody has put together a pretty comprehensible list of stock firmware files, which is awesome. Find the .kdz file for your specific version of the G5. Do not flash the wrong version, and then save that to your desktop. After that, we can turn the phone off. Then we're going to push the button at the bottom here, remove the battery for a few seconds, and put it back in. Then we can hold volume up on the device, and while holding that, and it's off, plug it into the USB cable until it shows download mode. After that, we're gonna right click the LG Up program that we just installed and click Run as Administrator. When that opens, we're gonna click on the device itself that's highlighted pink, choose Update. Then in that table below it, we're gonna click the three dots on the right side and choose the .kdz file that we downloaded earlier. Then we'll hit Start and wait for it to flash. Once it's done flashing, you could actually stop here. The only thing you need to do is then go and factory reset it inside backup and reset in your settings. But if you wanna get completely back to stock, if you had a unlocked bootloader, which chances are you did, we can do that uh, and relock it and that will actually erase everything on the phone as well instead. To do that, we're gonna need to go to settings, about phone under general, and then software info and keep tapping about phone until it tells you you're a developer. You can then hit back a couple of times, go into developer options, and make sure that USB debugging is turned on. If it's grayed out, it's because the phone is plugged in, so unplug it, tap that, and then plug it back in. Then we're gonna find the ADB folder inside the C drive, which you should have if you did my how to set up ADB. If you haven't, you can click the link below to get to that. And then we're going to hold shift on the keyboard and right click anywhere in here that's blank and click open command window here. Then inside that command window, we're gonna type ADB reboot bootloader and wait for the device to reboot. Then we can type fastboot OEM lock. After you do that, type fastboot reboot and the device will reboot and show you the setup page and you are all set. There you go, you're all back. You can either send it in for warranty or sell it or reroute it, whatever you want to do. Um, but if you need help with this tutorial, please head to the link below to get to my site, not here on YouTube. It's very hard for me to answer the comments here on YouTube. It doesn't notify me. But if you do that and you head into my site and you comment there, I will try to help as best as I can. If you like this video, please thumbs up it or share it. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want more videos like this, please check out my channel. If you like what you see there, please subscribe. And as always, Thanks for watching.